Hello everyone, we're back, episode 14. Just me and Greg today, as you can see. Somebody's yes. not well, through the cold. Or sinus infection, he said. Yes. So he's tucked down in his bed, resting. So, get well soon. Get well soon. And uh, so, we you just seen there, Greg's got a, a beer. It is Moretti. It is. Sadly not imported. Um, unless you kept me buying it from a German supermarket. Was we'll okay, and I have got as cold as the Rockies, a Coors Light, a Coors, but there's two, so there's three pints in action today. You know, keep keep true to the name. Good and Greg is modelling a, a football top today. What is it? Of course, Queen of the South from a couple of seasons ago. BP stacks in. I think that's about quarter shield zero. So taking it back. I thought it was like COVID era. Ah, I think it's about that time. And, I am the Carlsberg five sort of time. Yes. And yet you're not drinking the Carlsberg. I was going to but it was big cans and I'm too tired. Big cans. First thing on the agenda. Greg, you've got a quiz, I believe. I do. Take it away. So run an order this week um is very English Premier League heavy, so we're going to do an English Premier League quiz. Um, with the transfer deadline having shut, there are some new squad numbers in the Premier League. So I have got a list of all the Premier League squad numbers in front of me. We're going to go through it number by number, and all you have to do is tell me anyone in the Premier League who wears that number. Star number one, see how far you can get until you get one wrong. And then uh, if, the, if you win properly, you'll get all the way to number 47 because there's no number 48 in the Premier League. So we're going to start. It should be nice and easy to start with and get a bit harder as it goes on. We'll start with number one. Feel free to play along at home and send in your scores. Yeah, please do. Although if we have guests on, we might do this again. It's a very open-ended quiz. Hundreds yes. of answers. I'm sure you'll so, be shouting them when Kyle's trying to think of them. Ramsdale, number one. Aaron Ramsdale. Aaron Ramsdale is correct. So number two. Number two is Jewel Ward. From Crystal Palace. Yes, it is. Number three. Number three. That's Fabinho. Fabinho. That is correct. Weirdly, I've just noticed. I never even noticed this when I made the like the list. Nathan Patterson wears number three. Really yes, that's how, that, he's always injured, so you never see it. That's horrendous <laughs> behaviour. Who's, who's there? I don't know. No spoilers. I don't know who their number two is. I don't know who he'd be. Mm. It's probably the weekend. That means fuck all to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, number four. That is Big Verge. Yes, I see we're going for the Liverpool players. Is I kidding them? Oh. Yeah. Number five. That will be, is it Kunati? Ibrahima Kunati. Other is, options include Slab Heat himself, yeah, I it was a or Rapist himself, allegedly, Thomas Partey. Oh, so he is. Mm. Uh, number six. Tiago. Correct. Alain Quintero. Alain Quintero. We'll, we'll try and crack through some of these. Number seven. Because he's Ronaldo, he's not there. Um, no, he's not, he's left. That was nearly yeah, yeah. You've got Boo Yakasaka. Yes, we do. He's, he's he's not gone for the Liverpool because he's too embarrassed to admit that James Wilder still plays for them. No, he's a fucking legend. So change it up a bit, so I'm not just being biased. Uh, number eight. Odegaard. Yes, the man who could lift the Premier League title. I hope so. That'd be some, some player. Very quickly, number nine. There are 19 of them, so those should be plenty to pick from. For your former best pal, Mr. Alexander Mitrovic. Yes, he is. Of course, didn't wear uh, number nine his first season at Newcastle. Um, he wore a sum, four and five, makes nine. He did. Was that his logic? Yes, it was, which is quite sad. You can get nine because somebody else has it. It's not Andy Cap. Uh, no. 
it was was it Hosselu at the time? Not Hosselu. Um, someone else who was absolutely useless. It wasn't Hosselu. Paris. Paris, no, or... he was seventeen. They were all shite. Yeah, they were. They were. They were, they were all shite. Number ten. Not Sadio Mane. Aye. Cheers. Sun's crown. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Did I get this wrong? Rashford. Number ten is Marcus Rashford. You are correct. It was Joe Linton who wore number nine when uh, uh, some of the time Emmett Twitch was there. There was also Gale and Rondon. Yeah, the list isn't great, is it? When yeah, you go from Shearer to Stalman Rondon, it's not great. There you go. Wilson. Yeah. Super Cal. At least Wilson. he's worthy of it. Number Which 11. Goes. Mo Salah. Correct. Good to see you've avoided Mason Greenwood, even though he has been in the news this week. That's, we're not going to touch that, dirty. No, we're not. I don't, I don't need words, dirty. <laughs> Number 12. And this is when it exciting. This is when it starts to get hard. Um, 12, 12, 12. See, I've got a good one for like number 17, though, so I'm hoping to get that far. Um, fuck. Number 13. He's stuck because Liverpool don't have a number 12. He's to have one. It's not Joe Gomez. No. No, back in the back in the day, I mean. I don't think so. I thought he'd always wore the same number. Again, it used to be Klein, then he left for Palace. Oh fuck! Let's look at this. There's actually a certain there's a couple of types of players who wear number twelve. How many is there? Yeah, uh, there's fourteen number twelves in the league. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not usually. It's not a reserve goalie. That's usually a thirteen or twenty-five. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's fucking bogging. <laughs> the quiz are. No, me fucking burping doing my doing myself. Oh dear. Um. I'll give you a clue. Da, 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 da. Sleepo. Correct. When I've got that. Number 13. Number 13, now you're fucking asking. This is for the goalkeepers, actually. It's not Liverpool's one, though, because that's fucking killer. He's about 67. Mm. Who's his actual backup keeper? He doesn't wear 13 either. Who is it, though? Can't actually think. Hey, Matt Turner. Oh, fuck out of him. You'll be a what if you get to Mark T- Matt Turner, you're doing well. What's that guy fucking end here? Is it? I need a guess. What about? Oh. <laughs> is it Vincente Guita? See not one. That is correct. He is number thirteen. Well, like he, they don't have number one, do they? He is. Well, he is number one, but they he's don't. not. He is their number one, but can I mean? They don't. They are one of two teams who don't have a number one in the league. The other one's Man City. Yeah, because Ederson's like fucking 31. Number 14. There's 17 number 14s in the league. Thierry Henry. Nah, I'm joking. Uh, the, new, the new Thierry Henry, Eddie and Ketia. Correct. I can We're rattling through these now. Number 15. 15, isn't it? I've got a player in my head, but I don't want to say him because I can't just wrong. Okay. I'll say it after if I get this right. Well, why don't you tell me and I'll tell you if it's wrong. No, but then I'll be at the quiz. Yes. So I'll do it after when I get it right. If I get it right. Oh, when you get it right, very cocky. Yeah, I've realised I've got it wrong. There's three new signings that were signed in January that are number 15. For who, though? Like fucking Brentford, probably. At least, oh no, there's four new signings that are number 15 that I know of. Maybe even five, because I don't recognise one of the names. Do you know? Hmm? How many is there, did you say? 16, number 15s. 
makes you feel really fucking stupid, doesn't it? I feel like an absolute silly Billy. Uh, hey, let's think. 15, 15, 15. I hope there's not a time on it. Until, until we get bored. Yeah. What's a respectable score, Jake? I don't know. I, I reckon I reckon it's like I reckon if you don't get eleven, you should be embarrassed with yourself. No. Well, and then sorry. after that, I reckon it's open to interpretation. As I say, there's a couple of these that are new signings that you maybe should get. Depends who it's for though. I don't follow like Brentford and fucking Brighton. I bet Brighton's one of them. I bet it's like that fucking Japanese boy who's doing bits. No, he's not. He was signed this summer anyway. I'm saying there was three players, or at least, sorry, five players signed in January who were number 15. Yeah, I watched that much football as well when I was done again. There was, I'm sure, when I watched the Caribou Cup semi final, there was one for Southampton. One of the defenders, I think. Who's the boy who takes three kicks? Is it, it's not, not War Trevor's, but there's one that takes three kicks. I assume they were all taken by Rob Prowse. The guy in the telly said it. Fuck off. It was a, two, a free kick against Luton or something. But it was Perod. Perod. Is that your Perod. answer? Roman Perot is absolutely correct. That, that's a fantastic moment. Like that. See if we can get to number 16 any quicker. There's only 11 was, of these, though. I did talk. Was it, my thing I had was Curtis Jones. He's not 15. He's not. I didn't think it was, but I feel it was. So on 16. Buggery. We are on 16. I think we've got, think we've got a fall at 18, I think. There's quite a lot of 18s. If you get through 16 and 17, you've got a chance. I've got a cracker for 17, I hope. I don't think I do, but... I, I mean, I would hope you do. One of them, yeah. Yeah, but... It's just what I was saying, 16... 16. Oh, buggery. Well, you might not get 17 for your delightful suggestion. Got my fucking arms, I can't think. I bet your arms dug's no help. Okay, you can fucking shop. Bang my head. Um, what numbers? Is Marcus Tavernier 11 now? I'm not answering that question. No. I've just passed him. I'm not going to get make a cunt myself. He's not less than the number you're on. He's not. No, no. Least... Help me. What are you saying? 16. I don't care. Um, I might let you tap out if you want to. Get any like lifelines? No, you can't have a lifeline, I'm afraid. Like a 50 50 or for a friend. I think I should get something. I think I've deserved it. I mean, I was when you asked about someone, I was very specific in how I worded it. Hello? People at home will be screaming right now. It's a poem. Rodri. Rodri! It took him that long to get Rodri. Despite if he, in fact, if he'd just said Marcus Tavernier, we would have been on 17 by now. 
I thought it was like 17 or 11. There's two numbers I had made for it. Number 17, you've got a belter, apparently. It was Jones. It is. I knew it was 15 or 17. Yeah. It's Perez. So you know, like Kevin De Bruyne? G17? Yeah. Hmm. What's his face? I was a Perez. He's 17, isn't he? Yeah, but he left. He left on deadline day. He's going to bet us. So I would be it. Would have a technicality. Nah, see, that would be a car. A doggy's chance. Number 18. 18. 17 of these. 17. I bet I'll get it fucking wrong. I don't know. James MacArthur. James MacArthur is number 18. You're correct. That was very correct. I get him. Number 19. Yeah, fuck. Um, 19, 19, 19. I feel, I feel stupid. I hate this. I might just, I might just wave the white flag at 20. Do you not know any 20s? I can folk 20, like 20, something like 24s, 25s, but... Um, we were in 18, did you say? 19? I forgot. Um, number 19. 19, 19. Just think. 19. Well scored by number 19. Derek Lyle. I wish. I wish Derek Lyle was in the Premier League. It's slow from 19. How many is there? Did you say? I can't remember if you said mm-hmm. 19. How many 19s is there? There are 16 number 19s in the league. Only four teams don't have them. Those teams are Aston Villa, Fulham, Leicester, mm-hmm. West Ham. Excuse me. Yeah, so they're the, the shite teams. They have to give us a bit then. Um, Might have to tap out. I guess in first inning. I know Liverpool have got one. It's one of the midfielders. Like one of the central freaks. There's no Thiago, there's no Oxley Chamberlain. There's no um, Fabinho, Henderson, Milner. Who's that leaving me with? It's not Gak Pose, no Diaz. That's the pressure to get someone. Elliot? Correct. Again. Literally, we were on, you were almost out for the count. You, we were, you know, we were on nine. And you've managed to, you know, get back up again. And then for number 20. It's like we snook at your week. <laughs> Oh no, wait. Jota, he's, there's a chant in there. Yeah, Jota. Jota's number 20. Yeah, you're on to number 21. Shme, shme, I've got to say, bitch of this, so apologies to any Greek, Greek viewers. Konstantis Chimakis. Yes, Chimakis is number 21. To 22. Be, to be, that's, that's 22. There is one person I've highlighted in red in 22, but if you tell me them, I'm going to disqualify you because they're also wrong. Are wrong? Like a bad boy. Yes, a bad boy. A very bad boy, if you believe what's in the papers. So don't say him. I was looking Calvin Ramsey. He's not been a very bad boy. Uh, Benjamin Mendy is the person who is listed as number 22 who's a very bad boy. I've not played a game since we fucking 20. 13. We should should rename this uh, quiz to Kyle Names Liverpool Play. (laughs) I mean, he's it to your advantage. Yeah, number 23. We see. See, I was at Emory Chan back in the day, but he's away, Dortmund. Have I said one? Have I said the Liverpool 23? I'm not telling you. There is a Liverpool 23, I'll tell you that. To be fair, I've said all the whole fucking team to the front. <laughs> it's more like one of the attackers. So that's quite an attack number, isn't it? 23. 
Uh, let me think. Uh, I'm going through the 23s. Midfielder, midfielder, don't know who they are. Goalkeeper, midfielder, defender, defender, midfielder. M midfielder, attacker, defender, midfielder, midfielder. Don't know who they are. Defender, defender. So that bodes well, you don't know half of them. I don't, I don't know two of them. And it's not that I don't know them. I've heard of them, I just don't know what position they play. I'm stuck between them. For example, like that poem. The other here is his slivers. Diaz. What are they doing? I don't remember Gak pose. Because he's just signed, so he should be fresh in the brain. I'm sure he's like at 18 or something. I'll go with Diaz. Diaz is correct, yeah. Cody Gakpo is number 18 as well. Yeah. The good news is, since you've named Liverpool players for the last five goals, um, there's someone for 24 or 25. Oh, buggery. Again, 26. Fucking if I hopes. <laughs> yeah, yeah sure you do. 24. I'm happy I've made it this far. You've done well to make it this far. This is when it gets harder again. There's only 11 number 24s. No, oh, that's fucking good. Um, well, I mean, and I assume Chelsea have one because they've got fucking every player in the sun. I do. I'll go through the Chelsea team and see what numbers that Chelsea have. Uh, oh, they Chelsea don't have a number two or a number three, but then they've got everything from four to twenty-four. So. Oh, well, it's not three. I assume Chelsea have three. Life I don't know. Um, are you tapping out? No, I mean, I'm just having a guess. Okay. You might as well have a guess. You are right. You might as well have a guess. You get anywhere if you don't guess. That is correct. Well, you've been doing for about five numbers. I can guess it's about fucking ten. That, that is correct. <sighs> Again, I'm sure there's people screaming some at home. No, he's not one. Probably fucking has kind of my luck. Who? I was, I was thinking Julian Alvarez, but he's not 24. He's like fucking 18 or something. Or Is that your answer? No. Don't push it for a guess. Push it in the fucking steamer. Got a long way to travel to do that. Yeah, it's not really worth it, is it? No. Mm. And, and I've got a lift. I've got the string in the lift, then. Yeah. Anything to cause your body harm? <laughs> Maybe just turn the lift off. Make me go up the stairs, that'll cause me body harm. Bloody heart attack. After the fucking rest of us. I want to see you sweaty. You can watch me play FIFA to do that. I don't want to watch play FIFA after it fucking beat me last time. <laughs> He's still not over it. Right, come on, have a guess. Newcastle have a number 24. Why don't you guess who that is? He tries to get a fucking getting Newton scientific theory correct. Fine, I'll pick a different team. Chelsea have a number 24. Guess who that is? You're fucking anyone. <laughs> 24. Okay, mm. there's people screaming at home. No, they can text me or something. That or they've just skipped over this bit of the podcast because they're fed up of me waiting on an answer. A bit of awkward silences while I'm having a fucking... headache. I don't know. I don't know. Is um, it Chelsea? Is there a new sign in the Chelsea one? Or no. is that an old guy? 
Come on. Let's have a guess. Is that say fucking Gary Cahill? He's not there anymore. Gary Cahill's probably about Didi's probably got his pension by now. It's only about 40. He was only retired like last year. Did he? Something like that. Yeah. Christ. Goal scoring defender Gary Cahill, like. 24, 24. 24. So it's not a, a, not, a, not a new guy. 24 is who lane. It's longer at 64. Is really 64. Um, I don't fucking know. Um, uh, I can't think of any Chelsea players. That's the worst part. Just right. like a fucking Mason Mount. He's 11. Or He's not. He's not 24. Though. I can't, it's wrong. But my head's too sad to keep thinking. So we'll just go for. This is yeah. when you pull out of the bag. I'm, I'm going to go for a random Chelsea player. It might work, it might not. Um, I think I'm not really sure of the short number, but I can them all. I don't. But... What kind of? What do you need? Just Who... say a football player. I think a defender. I think it's Silva and Silva. I don't think it's fucking Silva. Ziek. Hakim Ziek actually left. Uh, it, no, he didn't leave. He was going to leave and then they filed paperwork. It's still wrong. He doesn't wear number 24 for Chelsea, so we can end the quiz there on 23 points. Okay, cool. We need to do so. Which, which I think is a very good show, actually. Uh, and yeah, we might at some point dig this out again and see how Robert gets on. Who was the 24 for Chelsea? Uh, Reese James is the 24 for Chelsea. I thought I thought it was fucking two. Again, you said there's no twos now, but I think about it, but... Yeah. Oh, you fucking ball bag. Anyway, that is the end of the quiz. Kyle gets 23 points, which I will note in this Excel spreadsheet. No, he's correct. That looks like 32 on my screen. That's better. For making some flips or whatever. Yes. So yes. What what is next on the running order? Uh, I believe we were going to discuss Manchester City being terrible in the transfer windows for the last ten year, give or take. You came better than me. You watched the news. But... I mean, we we all know they spent a lot of money. This investigation has took four years and investigates things from two thousand and nine to twenty eighteen. That's what went at their worst. Just. Buying players. I did see the so the best suggestion I've seen, I've seen it on Twitter, um, was someone suggesting that um we should replay all of those seasons um but with the squads that everyone had. Yeah. So like Man City have to get Carlos Tevez back and Mario Balotelli has to come back. And we can play it like Masters football. I, I could watch until the Guero bangs at another 90, 93 28 goal. <laughs> So what's going to happen? Are they going to get like, oh, just over to Kenya? Well, there is a lot of possible things that have been mentioned, including points deductions and um, possible relegation from the league, which oh. would be an absolutely huge decision. And I'm not sure that's going to happen. I think they just strip them all, all titles. Not sure. not biased. But... No, but then, but then Ola, like Ola, Ola going to social them the title. But I'm, I can't, I can't say how much I don't want that to happen. Well, yeah, just null and void. Just yeah. null and void a lot. Just void them. Just man fitty, but with a wee asterisk. Because, I mean, it doesn't affect any standings because the Liverpool man, you've won the same under that logic. So. Just doesn't do anything for anyone. Yeah. Just gives social a title, and that's not, that's one of those things that shouldn't really, shouldn't happen in England. Maybe Norway, but no England. But big love to Solskjaer. Please no, follow. not big love to Solskjaer. The man who got Cardiff City relegated. Please come on. Help no, me. Please don't. Help me. He won't let me leave. So, yeah, so what do you think is going to happen? And what's your theory on Man City? I think they'll get a suspended points deduction or... They'll find some way to do it if they can deduct points from seasons where they didn't win the title. That does or fuck on them. 
or won the title, but then deduct enough points so they still win the title. I suppose that doesn't do it. That does exactly. Mean. But I think that sums up my opinion of justice in football, really. They're going to do something that punishes them that doesn't actually punish them. And I think it's important to note two things as well. That One, this is very similar to the UEFA investigation that happened a couple of years ago that it turned out they have like a time limit on how long they have to investigate and what they can do. That time limit expired, so UEFA couldn't do anything. Mm. There's no time limit in the Premier League. I've also read that Man City can't appeal this. It's like in the Premier League's competition rules, which is mad. So who's this FIFA that's doing this? Premier League. All right. I thought it was like FIFA, so they could ban them for shit. But just no, it's, it's just the Premier League, because the Premier League can like relegate them or give them price deductions or find them, which seems a bit pointless for financial shit. I, I would relegate them. Because no. then it gets all this player, like a superstar team more spread out. <laughs> like, how long's got to play fucking Blackburn away, is he? No, Haaland, if you want to continue your uh, pursuit of dirty money, uh, Newcastle will give you the number nine shirt and we will take it off, Helen Wilson. Please come. Or you can have the nine shirt off rightly. I'm sure that will go down well. No, nah, if Erling Haaland came to Queen's, he'd miss like one chance at one time and the fans would be on his back and that would be it. Depression. Every time it'd be, what on earth are you doing, Haaland? Yeah, I'm a region. Fuck. <laughs> But so, then again, you know, uh, Paul Merson doesn't think he'd score 40 goals in League Two, so. It's one of those things. It's a rougher league, more hard tackles and great performances, I guess. Just to be Despite worse. having scored how many goals in the Premier League, Paul Merson said uh, he wouldn't score 60 goals in League Two, and he was a manager there in Wal- Wal- He was a manager there with Walsall. Sorry, Erling Haaland would one would one hundred percent score sixty goals in League Two. Depends who he's playing for. If he's playing for Man City, then yeah, with that team. But... I, I don't think it matters. I reckon you could just get some random winger to put a ball relatively near the box, and Erling Haaland would score in League Two. It's going against Spurs. They're in League Two. Alternative uh, theory being that man Erling Haaland would play one minute in League Two. Someone would break his leg, and he wouldn't score sixty goals. That's what I think. You just get clattered. The game's built like a brick, but he has built like an absolute tank. And six foot four, probably yeah. dwarf. Maybe you look a fucking midget. He's a ridiculous specimen. He's young, you're younger than me. He's like, I think he's just turned twenty-two. Yeah, that's I mean, absolutely but... mad. But yeah, off topic a bit. Man City probably in a bit of shit. It'd be interesting to see what happens. Like people go. Affects their title trip. Title chase. I, I think my walk. Yeah, if Pep, if they're found guilty, like if something seriously happens that they get dot points or like relegated or something, I think Pep would go. I think if they relegated the lot of them will go. Maybe not like the shit ones in Foden, I think they'll stay, but yeah. Depends though, because like the only real similar case we've got to kind of go with is the kind of Juventus match fixing stuff. They kept a lot of good players. They did, and they got oh. relegated. But then you've also got like um, Juventus just now got docked 15 points, but Juventus might appeal that and might end up back third again, which is just wrong. Like, it's really hard to sanction anyone for this kind of thing. It's like the Rangers, I guess, different sort of circumstances, but like the Rangers thing, they got chucked in umps and divisions and lost players and XYZ. Yeah. Same with Hearts, they only lost 15 points and got relegated. Yeah, that's true. But at least for Hearts, they knew they were starting on minus 15. It wasn't just applied yeah. to the season. So, they did quite, well, did quite well that season, actually. They nearly stayed up, didn't they? They nearly did. For having minus 15 points. Same with Darby last season. Yeah, or nearly Darby was, did. Which is a shame, but... <laughs> lol. So I think, I think if that's us in Man City, anything yeah. else you want to add? No. Uh, we could talk about the uh, Leeds... Sacking Jesse Marsh. At last? I mean, didn't long enough, but yeah, eventually. Well, the thing is, when they sat Bielsa, they were already kind of apparently in talks with Marsh and ready to appoint him really quickly. So I wonder if it's going to be the same this time. You know, they well, have to win by tomorrow. Um, they win tomorrow. Or is it tonight? 
tonight. Man United at some point this week. I'm sure it's, if it's Wednesday today, it's today. Yes, it's, it's Wednesday today. As recording. Yes, as of recording. And Man City, I think, are playing. I'm sure it's today. It's pretty week. I'm sure it's today. Yes, yeah, tonight. At Old Trafford tonight. And then are they not playing again on Saturday? Like the reverse fixtures on Saturday? It's at the weekend, anyway. It's Sunday. That'll be interesting. Two legged like affair. Basically, yeah. Well, I was I'm captain Marcus Rashford in my fantasy football because I think that he's, you know, he already got me a ton of points at the weekend there. I reckon he's going to hopefully well, score a couple tonight. I'd rather lead to win just for precious and giggles. Makes him just exciting. Yeah. Who's going to replace him, Jesse Marsh? I hope it's Steve Bruce. Or Big Sam, or someone just so Leeds fans get the true pain. I've got some some names here if you're interested. Yes, what are the names? The current favourite is I've never heard of him. You might have Arnie Slot. Uh, I have no idea why I know the name Arnie Slot, but I. I think Sounds he's... Norwegian. Scandinavian. The man at Berger No, he's not. Arnie Slot is Dutch and manager of Feyenoord. Must be all right. He's looking okay. leads. Uh, I don't know anything about him. I can this guy if he's playing days. I've heard of him anyway. And Doni Ivraola. Ivraola. He used to be a right back for Bilbao. Fucked off to NYCFC for a bit. Yeah. Who's Bilbao manager? Yeah, he's manager at Rio Vallecano, who are no. fifth in the Spanish league. That's kind of, kind of a step the order, order again. But, so slots of favourite at 11 to 10. Then it's Ariola with. 11 to 8, so they mean fuck all me. Third, yeah. interestingly, you know Espirito Santo, 5 to 1. That would be the worst thing possible for Leeds. See, I, th- I rate him. I thought he was a good coach at Wolves. He's a good coach, but that, that those Leeds fans who have been watching Bielsa Ball and Marsh Ball, they have to watch Nuno's football. They're going to be bored out their skull. I like, like ultra defensive. Hmm? Yeah. Is it yeah, defensive? I'll read you the top five. If not heard this guy's unfamiliar to me. Marcelo Gallardo. Marcelo Gallardo. Again, I know the name. I can't remember who's been manager. Also Spanish. Me too. Uh, he's not Spanish, he's Argentinian and he was manager of River Plate. That's it, similar to the BL sorry, isn't it? Kind of similar. I don't think he has the same reputation. Yeah. You know, decent. again, could be a dis- decent appointment. I don't know. I've never heard of him, so I can't comment. He was 60 to 1, so that's quite an outside shout, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, fifth is Ralph Hassan Hutel. That's, yeah. no- that's a big note in my books. Yeah, he, he, but he might fit the style, right? The kind of high tempo pressing football is what the league players are used to. So he might fit the style. Did he fail at Southampton? Yes. Will they probably get beat 9 nothing, and it'll be quite funny at some point? Yes. Twice. Probably. I mean, I didn't really rate him at Southampton. That is a flash in the plan when he was in there, but bar that, it was pretty mint it, meat. It looked like he was building something, and all of a sudden it just collapsed around him. Fucking Lego house. But I think you can look at evidence from, like, Everton... This weekend, I mean, I watched I watched that game Everton Arsenal, and it was interesting to see how well Sean Dyche had the game plan and executed it. And they were like really obviously a Sean Dyche team game one. I think like you need a manager who knows the league, or you know what I mean. You can't have somebody comes in and tries to put a load of new fresh ideas at this point of the season. That's why they need Big Sam or Steve Bruce. Well, they're not on this list actually. There's some interesting names as well. Bielsa's on the list, twenty-five to one. Gerard, twenty-eight to one. That would be that. That could be up there as the worst appointment possible. Steve but Gerard is a good manager. Let's make that very clear. He's not a good manager. Not yet. Anyway, he's to. Low, like he ever will be. Low leagues built up a good name. Gradually but build up. That's the problem with like Lampard and Gerard. They're not going to do that. They're going to expect to keep getting Premier League jobs, and they're. They will. Some club is going to be stupid enough to appoint them. I think Lardo will take Gerard before, I think, 2025. I don't think he's good enough to get the job. 
I nearly do, but I think just based on name alone, he'll get it. Tim Lampard, so sharp Arteta, a lot. Arteta's doing good though, can't grudge him that. Because he, he took his time to build at Man City. He did. There's another good name here, Ange Postacoglu. I heard Ali McCoy said he'd physically drive him to Leeds if Leeds wanted him. So that says how much Scottish people rate Ange Postacoglu. I think it'd be a good signing. Yeah, he's done amazing work with Celtic. Would he leave Celtic? That's the question. I don't think he would. He wouldn't leave at this point of the season. I think he'd want to like go at the start of a season. Yeah, he'd go to somewhere. Leeds need someone now. They need someone now because they're right in that battle. They've not won a game since like November, is that right? It's not wonderful when they beat them. But that again, could be the last time Leeds won. That was embarrassing. Doesn't it fucking Leeds? Of course, we have a good friend who's a Leeds fan. We do. Shout out to Jake if you're listening. Better be. Leeds yeah. last won a league game on the 5th of November. Who is it against? 14 or against Bournemouth, the week after they beat Liverpool. Hmm. Well, there you go then. So he managed to make it from February to November. Well, sorry, November to February without winning. That's I know they thumped Cardiff in the replay, but the fact they managed to draw with Cardiff tells you how bad they are. Because Cardiff, it's, right, it's, they struggled against Cardiff. That sums it all up. Usually, this is a quite a, a sort of topical name. Is William Still at forty to one? Oh, the guy. That's the guy from Roms, right? Aye. Rams. I can't. Uh, my French is rubbish. So excuse my pronunciation. I, I can nothing about him. But again, he's in the news because he's young. Doesn't have his pro license and they get fined whenever he plays or whatever. Done, done quite a good job by all accounts, kind of sitting mid table. I don't know if anyone's seen any videos of him, the way he speaks English and English accent, but he's also half Belgian, so he does speak fluent French and he sounds like someone who speaks fluent French. It's, I mean, I can't know about him, I just can't, he's in the news for all his hijinks. Yeah. Um, this guy was top, but now he's not. It was Carlos Corberin? Yeah, Carlos Corberin. He's at West Brom. I was saying, um, he was top when I first yeah. checked, but he's now 28 to 1. So. What was a coach under Bielsa? Um, oh, right. Did really That's well. Sense. The guy took Huddersfield to the playoff final last year where they lost. It's um, right. Went into West Brom to replace Steve Bruce, took them out of the relegation zone. They're now like fifth. Yeah. Done a cracking job. Would be a, again an appointment of someone who knows English football. Would be quite sensible in my books. Is that maybe like a in case you go down, we've got a good to get us back up. Maybe again, you need someone to save you now. Who's going to come in and get points straight away? That's why I think Sean Dyche was such a good appointment for everyone. There's two names here who are world class. Is a common phrase, but I would say world class. You've got both well, three, but he's not going to go. Once Benitez, he's 40 to 1. He would save them, but he's too good for them. Yeah, would save them. Again, kind of defensive football. Not sure if they'd like it. To be fair, I'm sure if you told Leeds fans you're playing defensive football, but you'll stay up, they'd bite your arm off. I mean, they're, he's no, no, denier, no denying it. He's a brilliant coach. Yeah. Most teams would be like, please. Pochettino, he's 25 to 1. Again, Surely defensive. No Surely he's got the Spurs in the summer. Or Liverpool, if Klopp goes. That's our next point I've got. That's where we're going in a minute. Um, or Thomas Tuchel. Again, he's not 40. going. You can never say never, but it's very unlikely. It's not happening. He's got to save a few for a, a good Champions League high-end table job. If Leeds appoint Thomas Tuchel, I will come on this podcast shirtless. I mean, to be fair, mention it every week. Ancelotti went to Everton, so. Yeah, but Everton had, like, you know, some kind of ambition. They did quite well for a bit. They'd just been kind of solidified. It made sense. But they're, they're just fucking mints. Two a couple of weeks doesn't make sense. So I will come on this podcast shirtless if they play two. And yes, okay. it's worse for you, the viewer, than it is for me. How do I clip that? <laughs> what do you take note of the time? Ah, fuck it, I'll watch it and find it myself. Um, so I think if that's us all about Leeds, we'll move on to Liverpool yeah. and all their shite. Debacle. You're the Liverpool fan. How is it? I mean, I've not, I've not watched a lot of games, thankfully. But, I mean, they have been. The results are... 
So, I mean, Klopp should, I would say, just excuse me, sack him, but there's nobody else to take, take his place. So, do you keep him or do you just tell him to fuck off? I th- he surely got enough in the bank. He surely did enough for that club that they can see it out. Tenth, though. Like, what's the ambition? Nay cops, nay Europe's looking shite because they've got Madrid. Ten, ten points. I know they've got two games in hand on Spurs. Uh, ten points off um, top five, 11 points off top four where Newcastle are. 11 points away from the bottom three, whatever or not. I mean, they're, they're not winning games. Who beat us at the weekend? Brighton. Can I fucking beat Brighton? Wolves. Wolves as well. That's embarrassing. Be Wolves met. are shite. Craig Dawson got a goal, Christ. You can, you can tell Klopp's at the end of his tether as well. I think he'll go in the summer. I, I'm not sure. I mean, they say he's got this seven-year seven year spell. Like Mourinho used to have three. Yeah. He's got a seventh, se- uh, seventh year syndrome or something. He always fucks up in his seventh season. Yeah, Tuchel's got about 18 months to two years. It is a thing. You do get like a natural life cycle and you can tell that Klopp's not the same. What did they say? I'm sure they said after the Wolves game on Saturday that it was um, the third goal didn't count because it was the first time they crossed the halfway line Yeah. in the second half. This remnant of Alex Ferguson, he just used to Lot of excuses because they lost the game. Like, oh, but just... his used to be like actually feasible. It's fine, Klopp. Don't worry. We'll remove that Wolves goal and you can lose 2 0 instead. The issue was he signed, he sold money and didn't fucking replace him with a decent player. But who's that midfield? Like that midfield three. That is... too. Is cool. Who, who's in it? Thiago? Yeah. He's all, he's, all right. he's a good passer. Like, he's good at dictating tempo, but that's not going to be leaks. He showed promise at times. Has he adapted to the Premier League? Not really. He's flashing the plan. Moment he's quite good there. The next he's good evening. Henderson passed it. I've always said I don't rate him as a player, but I rate him as a captain. He's a good Henderson. leader, but he's Is that a reason to keep him on the side. Who's the third midfielder? Whoever he feels like that week. Fabinho okay. yeah. passed it. Jones, not good enough. Elliot, too young. Also not a central midfielder. Or never oh. started as one. Oxley Chamberlain. I rate him, but he's injured. Jota. Stars midfielder. Jota can maybe play centre mid if push him to show I assumed Gakpo would come in and play like at the top of a triangle of three in midfield, but it doesn't appear to be playing now. There's too many folk up front. Salah, Firmino, Jota, Gakpo, Diaz. Carvalho. Well, he needs to go more. He's far too young to play. He does score against Newcastle before, but yeah, and the biggest robbery of all time. Um, yeah, so I think a big overhaul in the summer. A new midfield. A new, a new midfield. Se- is it half. Good enough? Van Dijk Van, is. Van Dijk and Karate is surely good enough. Karate's a good football player. We've seen him play decent, like he played decent football before. He's not too young. I don't know. This, I don't know who he is. I think he's all right. Like surely, whoever partners Virgil Van Dyke basically has to be competent in that set. I think big one is Van Dyke. He's the best defender. Yeah, Ar- arguably. He's not getting good. Yet. I didn't see the team at the weekend actually. It was because we were at Palmerston. You were. How was that? Yeah. How was that? Should have fucking had should be about seven nil, but it was only one. Got to say, Rory Payton screamer. It was lovely. I seen it. I mean, a win's a win, so you can't grudge it. But it should be like a lot, lot more. How was the ball from? Didn't have one. Too rough. Far too rough for a ball from. <laughs> had a had a poke of chips. They were all right. Nice salt. Grabbed got a salt packet. It was all wet. The assault came out fucking raging. But, you know, Queen seemed to play decent. I seen the uh, Challenge Cup semi-final on Friday last night on BBC Alba. Managed to find it in Wales. Um, I thought we played well. I thought we were actually a credit to the football club last night. Um, don't quite enough, didn't quite have enough for Hamilton, which is disappointing because they're bottom of the championship. But I thought you could see what Bartley's trying to do. Try to play that kind of high pressing football and just some of the players we have. I say some of the players we have, the entire back four. 
Need Aren't fucking... good enough to play that. Mm-hmm. There's good players in the defence. Like East, I've East. He's a good defender. What the guy who was responsible for the first goal? I never seen. The, I never watched. I was. I was working. Yeah, he should do better with the first goal. The first. Well, he's goal, usually good. He's usually quite reliable. First goal is the epitome of what what I've seen of Queens all season, which is that a goal comes from absolutely nothing. Is it right, really? Big Kev seems a good signing. He, how on earth we got him? He's far too good for Queens. Is he's probably his best pal, probably. Again, if he's going to sign players like that, because they're his best pals, I'm not going to complain. On Saturday, that day, Bryden was off. He won it, whatever. Who did he play for? He cup tied. Was it not Edinburgh City? The... I mean, because we've seen him for Hibs. Yeah, so he, he's the one who played for Edinburgh City. Oh, um, right. The season went back to Hibs and then came to us. And it's different gravy. Hearts, I think, is cup tied as well. But it's been confirmed that the guy we said Hearts, is it Connor Boyle? Is that the name? And Cammy Logan. No, no. Why have I got Connor Boyle from? Who on earth is Connor Boyle? <laughs> um, Cammy Logan's um, the right back. Yeah, him. He's been told he's not getting a new contract. Well, you do that. I'm going to see who Cammy Boyle is. Well, if he's not getting one of Hearts, he may as well come to Queens. Because we're doing the right back, so. I don't know who Cammy Boyle is. Means we can have Gibson up front or in a more attacking role because the boy's not a defender. Yeah, he's not a defender. He came though, he came on at left, like left wing back last night and he, he looked all right. He's probably all right. It's just he's not he's not a defender. He needs to be an attacking because he's a good crosser, a good attacker. Yeah. Scores, so it's just me. I think it's also good to emphasize that point as well, actually, that um we've got a huge squad, but we don't have enough players who are good enough to play that type of football on a Saturday and a Tuesday. A big squad that's full of young boys. And full of people who aren't good enough. Oh, yeah. Defence not good enough. The attacks really young boys. in the first half tactically last night because he had an absolute shocker. Got a place for Ross Urban who scored even though, you know, I think it will be credited to, to him. Even It'd be. Though, Never seen it, but it should be. It, well, it took a massive deflection and kind of went in the other corner. Well, it's good to see him scoring. really well when he came on. He pressed really well, looked attuned to the system. Kyle's favourite player. I was, uh, don't rate him just now, but hopefully he changed your mind. last night. I noticed that Ryan, we Ryan Muir started as well at the back. He did. I mean, he's a right back, but I guess he can play defence. Yeah. He can, can only play what he's got in front of him. Exactly. If that's shit, that's shit. But yeah, I think we can move on to the predictions. I think, yeah, I think that's everything I've got. Yes. Uh, Robert uh, has sent us his predictions. He'll be very happy to know that um, last week's scores were me for six points, Robert for six points, and Kyle got a massive seven points. That takes the total to me on 53, and Robert and Kyle joint tied on 55. Yeah, yeah. Similar. Uh, this week, there is Kyle's gate pick for games, and there is a mix of four Scottish Cup ties and two wild cards, and then four Championship League One and League Two games. Oh, uh, what pick from? Yeah. First game is uh, Scottish Cup, but it's an all Premiership tie Dundee United versus Kilmarnock. Dundee United with one point from the last possible 15, Kelly with three. Kilmarnock won the game a week ago at Rugby Park 1 0. I've, I've rushed these, so I can't give it zero points. I went for Dundee United. As did Robert, I went for a draw. Uh, oh. Game number two is Livingston versus Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Livy in fourth in the Premiership, but haven't scored that many goals, uh, but won 3 1 over Kilmarnock at the weekend with uh, John Nuble back up front. Uh, Inverness are unbeaten this year with two wins, three draws in the league, and the 3 0 win over Queen's Park in the last round. I suppose because they got chucked out for fielding an ineligible player, didn't they? That is why. So that doesn't count, does it? I've not done my research properly there. I've rushed my research. Just because we were. Actually, were... they are unbeaten this year, but they, they got beat by Queen's Park in the last round, just Queen's Park got thrown out. My bad. We watched the, the Queen's Park air game, is all they went on about. They said they got chucked at the Scottish Cup. Thanks for reminding me. Well, I went for a draw because I wasn't aware of the form. But I for a draw. Draw. That's, that's not a D on my screen. That's backwards for me. Um, 
me and Robert have both gone for a Livingston win. Uh, game three is Air United versus Elgin City. Air, as you said, were beaten 2 0 by Queen's Park in the TV game last week, but still sit second level with Dundee. Elgin haven't won in League Two in four games. Uh, went for, again, pains me. Went for Air win. Yeah, so did me and Robert. That was an easy fix. Uh, last Scottish Cup game is Wraith Rovers versus Motherwell. Wraith are in the Challenge Cup semi final tonight against Dundee and unbeaten in seven league games. Last loss was Air on the 3rd of December. Motherwell are an absolute state. They lost to Aberdeen, and that says all you need to know, and haven't won in the league since October, uh, but beat one nil, uh, beat our both 1-0 in the last round. Uh, the good news for Motherwell is it's a, a tie away from home. Uh, they've won 60% of their points, at least, away from home this season. Went for a draw again. You went for a draw. Robert went for a Motherwell win, ambitiously. I've gone for a Wraith Rovers home win. My, my, uh, this is just 90 minutes. It is, but I still think Wraith can do it because Motherwell are pitch. Uh, Scottish Championship, uh, Morton versus Queen's Park. Morton in seventh, winless in all competitions since they beat Queen's in the third round of the Scottish Cup in November. Queen's Park are four points clear after the one against Ayr. Oh, so I went for a Queen's Park win. Yep, as did me and Robert. Three Queen's Park wins on the table there. I think it will likely be a, a similar story for the next game. League One, Airdrie versus Dunfermline. Airdrie up to third on goal difference after their win against Clyde. Six points behind Falkirk and ten behind Dunfermline, whose only league loss was versus Montrose in October. Well, it's, just, it's a no-brainer, so I went for Dunfermline. Spot it wrong. Spot it wrong, but M7-8. Uh, two games in League 2 Albion Rovers versus East Fife is the first one 7th versus 9th uh, a draw and a loss versus 4th and Elgin ended Albion's hopes of uh, going on a run there have been no win in 4 league games for East Fife who are now slipping down the table I went for Albion I went for a draw as has Robert uh, other game in League 2 as four for versus Stennis Muir, four for the form team in the league. You've won four in a row and they're now in the playoffs. Stennis Muir have improved under Gary A. Smith and are also unbeaten in four games. I went for a fourth. Sorry, what the hell was that? Four. Four. Oh my God, that's shocking. Robert didn't. Robert went for Stennis Muir. I agree with you. I went for four far. That's a new, a new thing. I think the four for a fan should incorporate into their games is come on. <laughs> Um, Women's Super League, Kyle's favourite. Who Manchester City at home? Uh, they're playing Arsenal. Uh, 34th, both play on 26 points, but Man City have played a game more. Man City have lost two games, Arsenal have lost one. They're playing tonight, actually. That's noticed. So it's a bit of a precursor for it. It's in the FA Cup. For oh. Scott. This is the Women's Super League, but the FA Cup's tonight. All right. So interesting to know that. But I went for a Who Manchester City again. Oh, we've got all three outcomes here. I went for an Arsenal win, and Robert has went for a draw. Last game is League Un. In Again, France. Excuse my French. That's twice now I've had to excuse my French. Um, Monaco versus P dollar sign G. Because someone tried to be uh, satirical. Uh, Monaco versus PSG. Monaco in fourth on a good run, uh, unbeaten in the league since the World Cup, but were put out of the Coupe de France. On pens to a league do side, PSG have a six point gap at the top. Again, excuse my French. Just excuse the French for the fourth time. I went for a, a how do you say, drawn French? Draw? Je ne sais pas. <laughs> That's, I don't know. That's not French for draw. All oh, right. There's me, but same. Um, I went for a win for the Arabs, PSG. Do you need? No. I've not gone for a Dundee United win, don't worry. Uh, yes, PSG win. Robert has also gone for a PSG win. And that is the end of the predictions for this week. And I think that's everything we have time for, I think. Unless anything else you want to add? Follow us on the socials. Usual trio, Twitter, Thanks. Instagram, YouTube. TikTok, there's a TikTok. Yeah, I wouldn't know about that. I don't have TikTok. No, I'm, not, no, but... I'm not a Gen Z snowflake. Um, you know, as Greg would say, ring the bell, turn notifications on. Yeah. Tell your true. pals, cousins, auntie, sister, Doug, the lot. Big like, banner on your window. Subscribe. 
yada yada yada. What it says. You know just what? Uh, share it with every cunt you can. And and people who aren't a cunt as well. You can share it with people who you like. Share with anybody with a pulse. Or not. Or dead folk. If as long as they have a social media. If, they, if dead folk listen, it doesn't matter. It pips us a listen pills. They don't discriminate against dead or alive. No. Just as long as they have a social media presence. Tell them. Yes. So yes, um, should be back next week with three of us. Hopefully. We hope. Uh, this will be get going well soon, bit... Robert. Yeah, get well soon. This is your big beer I'm having. Um, this is going to be Friday, 12 o'clock, usual time, usual place. Spotify and YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, Godspeed. Cheerio.